All right, so let's go ahead and get started. And this demonstration will show how you can create an integration between a database, could be any database, whether it's SQL Server, MySQL, Oracle, uh, Postgres, whatever the case may be with Jira. So we're gonna make an assumption here that are, there are cases that are created on an application that sits on top of Postgres, for example. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and first do a migration to make sure all these uh, cases are uh, sent from the database into Jira. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, make some modifications to, the, uh, to those issues within Jira and expect some results back in the database uh, automatically using uh, Jira's webhooks. So uh, as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and refresh my uh, page. You see there are currently no open issues. Uh, we're going to look at our database as well. Uh, notice I have a, a, a database with a table, and the table that I have has basically these columns. This, this is what I'm collecting through my web application. And once these cases are synced with uh, Jira, we're going to get some information back by Jira, such as who it was assigned to, how much time we spent on it, what the status is, the Jira ID the JIRA link as well as the, uh, the resolution. So at this point you can see the data that hasn't been synced with, with JIRA. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and actually execute that process. Again, uh, let me just repeat, currently there are no cases, open cases in, in JIRA right now. So let's go ahead and go to Jitterbit Studio. Jitterbit Studio allows you to design this integration. This is uh, the flow that I created uh, very quickly uh, the idea is that uh, we get uh, the detailed information about cases from our database. And if they haven't been processed, we're going to go ahead and actually create those JIRA cases. And we're going to send some information back uh, from JIRA in terms of ID, statuses, who it's assigned to, uh, back to the database. We will also send a um, message saying that a case was created. So this is sort of a, a notification on success. So let's go ahead and actu actually execute this, uh, this operation. And we're basically sending all this information from uh, Jitterbed Studio to our cloud and then it will get executed and, and it's gonna be run. And if we uh, switch back to our Jira and refresh our page, uh, now we see those three uh, JIRA cases that, uh, or J JIRA issues based on the cases that were uh, in, in our database. So uh, as you can see, there are login issue, new enhancement, email notifications, and those obviously match uh, the summary for the, for the case. Um, but also, uh, we've sent some information back from JIRA into the database. So let's go ahead and refresh our database. Notice that those uh, JIRA uh, IDs or JIRA keys are sent back to the database. The status is uh, unresolved initially. And um, we have a link. Uh, we don't have anybody assigned to it and there's no time that's uh, from a timekeeping pers perspective in JIRA, nothing has been done. So we're gonna make some changes, changes in JIRA into, let's go to pick uh, sf 48s so let's go back to uh, Jira. Uh, let's back, go to SF-48. So we, we see the same information that we saw. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and actually get this assigned. Um, let's see, I'm gonna assign it, to, assign it to myself here. And uh, let me also, Let's lock some work here. So let's say I did uh, three hours of work. So I'm gonna lo log my hours here. And I'm gonna say that I worked on this specific issue in JIRA um, and I'm done. And I'm gonna go ahead and actually mark this as being done. Now behind the scene, the webhooks that JIRA has are calling Jitterbit APIs to actually update the database with the actions I took on Jira automatically in real time. So let me go ahead and go to our page here and refresh. Notice that uh, the one that we just updated, SF-48, 
uh, I was able to get the new updated status. I got the hours uh, that was worked, which was three, and the person that it was assigned to. So you can see bi-directional between Jira and database. Um, and um, again, all the integrations are basically uh, these set of operations to actually um, execute the insertion of new cases. And the second part is the webhook is when a webhook from Jira calls Jitterbit, it executes this and that's what uh, updates the, the tables. Now, if we go to um, my email, uh, you can see those three uh, um, emails I got sent. And if I drill into to one of them, it doesn't really matter which one it is. I'm getting very, very uh, dynamic and very specific information about the case that was created as a notification. And I also get a, a link to the, the, the details of that JIRA ticket. So as, as a user, I can easily look at that specific information about that specific um, item. So uh, that covers um, interacting with JIRA and databases bi-directionally. And as you can see, very, very quick, very easy, very easily to understand what it is, what's being done, the notifications, everything is done. Uh, for more videos, uh, watch our YouTube channel and we'll see you next time.